Hey everyone, and welcome back to Trendy List. In today's video, we have for you some moments where celebrities have flirted with fans. Make sure you stay till the end of the video so you don't miss out on a single such incident. Number 15, Demi Lovato. When Demi Lovato came out as a judge on America's Got Talent, it was quite a great moment for her fans. And to no one's surprise, many of the participants also proved to be her fans. After a performance by a group of boys who did exceedingly well, Demi was heard to be appreciating and complimenting them, and even said that they were cute. The boys gladly accepted the compliment and reciprocated by saying they thought Demi was the one who was cute. Demi took the compliment and was quite happy about it, so much so that Simon Cowell, who's also a judge, had to intervene. The entire event was very amusing to watch. I think you guys are so cute. We think you're cute. We're pretty bad. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> no. Uh no. <laughs> what? No. What? No. Number 14, Eminem. Eminem is not just a celebrity. He's also an icon who's basically worshipped by many. In a talk show where he went as a guest, one of his dedicated fans professed her love towards him very ardently. It was clearly a very emotional moment for her, and Eminem seemed to understand her feelings. When she said she loved him and blew him a kiss, he got up, thanked her, and said he loved her too. Surely that was enough to make her day. But instead of stopping there, Eminem got up, went up to her and hugged her to make it all even better. And I want to say, you, but... thank you. <laughs> I love fun. you too. I love you too. Um, I, 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 I wanna... love you. No, seriously, you don't know. I no, for you. real, I love you. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's do a number two video. Friend. We're going to go to the number two video. Here's the man Mario with just a friend. We'll be right back, 106. Number 13, Justin Bieber. In a very old video of Justin Bieber flirting with one of his fans on stage, he had called up on stage a girl from the crowd. The girl, wearing a flower crown, was evidently very moved and emotional at first. But as Justin made her sit on the stage and began singing to her, slowly she eased into it and began enjoying herself. She even sat with her legs on the artist's lap, clearly having got a complete hold of the flow. Bieber got up and hugged the girl once the song was over and took her by the hands and ran off the stage. Clearly, it was a great moment for the fan that day. Number 12, Justin Bieber. Again, Justin Bieber can be pretty sweet when he wants to be. Let's say, for instance, when he complimented a woman for her dress while leaning out of his car, he said she looked quite good and even asked whether the dress was new. The girl was clearly happy, and in all, it was pretty smooth. Thank you so much. It's so awesome to meet you. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. Yes, can we? Yes, here's this. Number 11, Maluma. There really aren't a lot of people who think that the Latin pop artist Maluma is not hot. So naturally, it was no surprise when one of his fans absolutely lost in excitement during one of his concerts when she got the chance to be on the stage with him. He performed a song as she stood with one of her arms around him and ended it by kissing her on the cheek and pecking her on the mouth. In fact, this was not the only occasion where Maluma had flirted with his fans. Number 10, Enrique Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias has been one of the major Latin heartthrobs for quite some time now, and his charisma is not fading away soon. In an interview, while asking who he was considering for casting in his following music videos, the host made it a point to let him know that she, in fact, was available anytime if, of course, Enrique wanted to. The artist seemed to be quite enjoying this, and he flirted back saying he was definitely up for it, and he would even let her kiss him. He even said that his girlfriend wouldn't mind, as it would be work. But it goes without saying that he did quite enjoy the harmless flirting. I'm so bad at You don't have a boyfriend? I, I, this is getting quite personal. I would... <laughs> You're ready. Try, you can try me whenever you want. <laughs> you have a girlfriend. Uh, she's not jealous. Number nine, Katy Perry. Pop icon Katy Perry handles her fan moments pretty well. In one of her concerts, she had called up one of her fans on stage and had quite a conversation with him. She told him he had a baby face and that he was very cute. The singer didn't just stop there, but went forward to give him a present and allowed him to kiss her on the cheek. Needless to say, it was a great day for the fan. Number 8. 
Number eight, Jesse McCartney. Jesse McCartney, the only son of former Beatles star Paul McCartney, has pursued a career in music as well. Once during a concert, he was seen to be performing a piece in front of one of his fans who was called on the stage. It was a very properly romantic too. The girl was sitting on a chair and he was down on his knees as he sang. We can only guess how exciting it was for the girl who was screaming in excitement. And honestly, who wouldn't? Number 7. Russell Brand Russell Brand has a record of flirting with people during his interviews. In fact, in one such situation when he was being asked whether or not it was true that he flirted that randomly or not, he went forward and actually kissed a woman who was taking the interview, and went around and even pecked the others present. My secret is that I know that within you there is a limitless divine She's beauty, and within She's me as well. For. And if I connect with that, oh, 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 then we'll be okay. Oh, and you as well! And Chris, for God's sake! Oh, give it me. Number 6. Cristiano Ronaldo and Ricardo Quaresma One of the most successful football players of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo is also a very popular for his charming looks, and he seems to know this quite well, as he was once recorded on camera to be flirting with a crowd in one of his games as he stood in front of the dugout saying, there were a lot of beautiful faces to be seen. He didn't just stop there, but even called his teammate Ricardo Quaresma up to him and the duo had quite a good time flirting with their fans. Number 5. Rob Gronkowski Rob Gronkowski, nicknamed Gronk, is a famous name in American football. However, this burly athlete actually has a soft side to him as he revealed in an interview to the host when she wanted to know what he was like, that he indeed liked to snuggle. In another interview that took place prior to Valentine's Day, he was asked what he would be doing on the day of love, and he asked the interviewer what her plans were, as if he was interested in her. It was pretty sweet. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Whoa. Whoa, what are you doing? What's one thing people don't know about you? Oh, I like to snuggle. You like to snuggle? Yeah, why not? So it's like spooning? What do you mean? Nah, we're getting the detail. Number four, Chris Brown. Chris Brown doesn't want to let go of the opportunities of flirting with his fans go whenever they come up. In one of his interviews, he is seen to be turning the tables and asking the interviewer some questions. The girl, however, becomes evidently flustered and smiles nervously and says that she actually had never been interviewed before. Chris, however, doesn't let it slide and leans in closer to her, saying he was actually seeing it as a date. Flirting much? Well, yes. He always reminds us of his relationship and subsequent breakup with Rihanna. However, that's not the only time he made headlines. During one of his concerts in Detroit, he had called a girl up on stage and made her lie down there. He subsequently proceeded to sing an entire piece to her, quite seductively to be real, and even sucked on her knee. Well, it did seem that he got carried away with the flow of events more than his fan did. But nevertheless, it can be said that the girl enjoyed the attention. Okay. No, okay, so, no. so what about you, baby? How you doing? What's up? What's your name? I've never been interviewed before. This is so. This different. ain't an interview. This is a date. This is a date. This is your way of picking are, up. Are you are you are you shy? Nope, not at Don't all. Don't be shy. If I get closer, you gonna be shy? No. Nope, a little not bit at closer. All. How about how about that? <laughs> this no? is just okay. turned. Into sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm horny, man. I'm <laughs> Number three, Dakota Johnson and Leslie Mann. Dakota Johnson and Leslie Mann are both Hollywood sweethearts, so it's not really surprising when they're in an interview and the host starts flirting with them. That's what happened on the talk show. How to be single, where both Dakota and Leslie went as guests. Well, in this case, it was actually the actors who started the flirting, telling the host how handsome he was and that he had cute socks. They even told him to take his jacket off and unbutton his shirt. The guy was sporting enough, and he even asked them pickup lines, which proved to be very funny for both actors. So what about like, um, are you Google? Because you're exactly what I've been searching for. That's terrible. Don't ever say yeah, that. Yeah, don't ever do that. If I had one more button undone, would it be better? No. Uh, Number two, Harry Styles. Harry Styles is the most universally adored artist of all times. Fans are absolutely crazy about him, and Harry knows it. A while ago, when their band One Direction still existed, during a concert when the group was performing their song Little Things, Harry smiled at some fan from the stage and said, You're pretty. Needless to say, the crowd absolutely lost it. Another time when he won hearts was during one of his solo concerts, 
when he shouted, Will you marry me? to the crowd. Well, we can only guess how many yeses were screened back at him. Number one, Niall Horn. Back when One Direction was still a band, in an interview, Niall Horn had seemed pretty enamored with the interviewer. When Harry Styles jokingly asked him from aside whether he was involved with her, she played along with him on this. Both Niall and the girls said that, yes, they were confirming their involvement. Niall even went on to say that she looked like an air hostess. And when others giggled at that, he corrected himself and used the appropriate term, that is, a flight attendant. I go ahead and dispel the rumor about you and Kristen before it even starts. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think I can. Yeah. No? It's, it's a true. Vicious, it's we're a gonna, vicious circle now. It's not a vicious circle. It's <laughs> nice. Get rid of it now. We're She's a nice woman, it. Harry. We're confirming it right now. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at that headset. Look how she wears that Look headset. at that. She looks like an air hostess or something. <laughs> I look like what? An air hostess. An air hostess? I'm an air hostess. A uh, flight attendant. Oh, flight, flight attendant. attendant. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> While you're still here, go ahead and click one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.